Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are one day closer to this Black Friday promo and we have a lot of information coming in on leaks, potentially, of what this promo could be this Friday. Of course, last year we had Best of Team of the Week and a promo team that is in packs. And as we've been thinking, I was expecting EA to do that again this year and it looks like that is going to be happening again. So I want to take a look at this market. There were a lot of movements yesterday with some road to the knockout cards like DeYoung and Fred because of those games that transpired more of that most likely today. But also it's Wednesday, right? Wednesday, new team of the weekday. There's some big names in today's team of the week that are leaked as well. There's a lot of leaked stuff going on right now uh, that are it's crazy. Messy team of the week. Like, man, EA's putting some cards in team of the week this week that really are going to sell some packs. So a lot of stuff is confirmed, but it is with leaks. So we're going to talk about that, talk about that potential. Leaks this year have been pretty accurate most of the time. So again, we take this all with a grain of salt, but there's a lot of information to talk about. And also on Wednesday, we usually see a market drop, right? Almost every single Wednesday, we see a lot of cards dropping on the market because people sell cards uh, on Wednesdays because of rivals rewards, they kind of reset and they and they um, kind of reset their clubs and they reset their teams with rivals rewards, get coins, go out and buy players. And I think that's going to happen again. Uh, I guess you could say Thursday morning early, right? So Wednesday night into Thursday morning, I think there will be some market movements. I want to talk about that as well. But let's get into the information at hand. We ha we might have a loading screen about this today because it is also Wednesday as well. But let's look into what could be coming on Friday alongside of the Black Friday promo. Now this is the leak, right? Either signature signings or uh, club signatures is supposedly the name of this promo. Some of the names that are supposed to be in, Kevin De Bruyne, Ben Yedder, Atal, Skriniar, Gelson Martins, the best of team of the week is confirmed and more is what it is looking like right now. Now the best of team of the week being confirmed is big because we know that that could actually be coming out tomorrow on Thursday. So you're probably going to see some more panic selling on some of those team of the week cards that are expected to be in that, that best of team of the week. You're probably going to see more selling on those cards today on this game as well as we get closer to that because that could be released as early as tomorrow. But signature signings, right? I mean, we were expecting to see a promo on Friday. I mean, last year they dropped the record breakers. We were wondering if EA was going to do that again, but they just have to do things to sell packs, especially with the way the market is this year. Uh, I think they, they got to put some stuff in packs that makes people want to open packs and try to get coins or try to get these brand new cards when everything else on the market is so cheap. So based off of these leaks, you've already seen a lot of market movements and people hyping up cards that link to some of these potential cards that will be dropping. Now, we don't have any information on like how these cards are going to be upgraded, if they're going to be position change, weak foot, skill move upgrades, any of that. As of right now, these are the only names that we have and we will see, right? I do expect to see either a loading screen today. Uh, of course, tomorrow on Thursday, we would expect to see something if they're going to drop best of team of the week. We might have a loading screen for that today as well. So I want to focus on some of these cards that have moved the market already and or these leaks that have moved the market already. And I want to talk about best of team of the week a little bit as well. So again, Ben Yetter is the big one in here. And if you kind of look at this, three League One players is interesting. Gelson Martins, SBC, Ben Yetter, and Atal. But Ben Yetter, right? The rat, as he is known from last year's FIFA. Since he was released as a potential card getting into this promo this weekend, take a look at what happened to Chow Many. 26,000 coins spiked at 38K and is maintaining a high price in the mid to high 30k range there's already people going out and investing in stuff which in my opinion seems a little bit silly because i think this ben Yedder card is probably going to be a decent bit expensive uh since it is his first special card of the year and it's ben Yedder, right and hopefully they saw some up with the good upgrades this promo and the content this weekend is going to be mad right and i think this kind of leads us into that with big name players, hyped players like Gelson Martins. People have been wanting special Gelson Martins cards like for the past two years in FIFA. A tall, right? Very meta popular card. Ben Yedder, very meta popular card. Kevin De Bruyne is like your star head of the promo. So, I mean, this just looks like EA is going to drop a massive promo on Friday and there's going to be tons of packs, of course, alongside with it. 
just as we've been expecting. So that is basically all we know about the team. We don't know much. We'll probably be learning more and maybe some more players. If there are more, those names will be released into today, into tomorrow. Uh, but I want to talk about this best of team of the week as well, because I really think today, and you've already started to see it a little bit on Tuesday, some of these cards that are expected to be in best of team of the week have gotten sold off a little bit more. So uh, Mr. Vinny Jr. 85 is one of the front runners for who's expected to be in the best of team of the week. He was about 300,000 coins yesterday on the X on the PlayStation and he's kind of been dropping off in the low 280s to the 270s. I think that some people, wow, look at Xbox 236. He is down to 215. So it, it looks like people are preparing even more for these cards to be released back in packs. And since this best of is kind of confirmed now, if you will. I think you're going to see a little bit more of that today as also, I think you're going to start to see some people tweet out cards that are leaked to be in the best of team of the week. So other players like Marquinhos, right? This Marquinhos center back, there's not that many big and like, you know, higher rate or big name defenders that have team of the week cards so far this year. Uh, Marquinhos, Teo Hernandez, Upa McConnell. Those are some of the biggest name defenders and potential cards that we could get in best of team of the week. But if you take a look at a couple other cards that might be in, Mane could be or probably will be in the best of team of the week. Of course, you take uh, the idea of cards like Inform Neymar would almost 100% be in. Inform Mbappe would almost 100% be in. And that leads me to my next very, very interesting point. What do you do with these cards, right? I'm going to I'm gonna speak on this just a little bit because if these cards actually come out on Thursday back into packs like they did last year, yes, we, as we talked about uh, a couple videos earlier on the channel talking about what to expect for Black Friday, the best of team of the week was released on a pre-Black Friday promo on Thursday. It was on the day before Black Friday. They released these cards back into packs and kind of had like a pre-promo day. They released packs, um, or sorry, not packs. They released SBCs and objectives. No like promo packs in the store, but of course everybody, it's like a last minute coin drain right before Black Friday too, because the team of the week upgrade repeatable is out and you can pack the best of team of the week cards from that SBC. So everybody goes, does that SBC, drains more coins, 83s, and some of that fodder probably rise up if that's the way that it gets played out. Uh, and you're gonna see these cards drop a lot on the market. This exact same movement happened last year with these best of team of the week cards. Now here's the interesting part. You guys are going to see some big time price drop offs on these best of team of the week cards, even further down than what they already are. Neymar's back down at 1.2 mil. You know, Mbappe team of the week is up actually at 2.2 mil. You saw for what seems to be a lot of pros. And we talked about it in yesterday's video too. A lot of pros and players that really want this card for qualifiers, buying some of these cards for their teams on the high tier meta, some of your icons and like Ginola were up a decent amount as people bought them for their squads to get ready for qualifiers. But at best of team of the week is rumored more today uh, and names are being thrown out and it does drop tomorrow. These guys are going to drop off 100%. But in my opinion, what's going to happen is these guys are going to drop big time, maybe have a slight rebound. Uh, from the initial panic into Thursday night, but then Friday, they're going to drop off even more because a lot of people are going to open those lightning rounds. They're going to open uh, those, you know, packs that are in the store. And the, the fear of the supply on these cards on Friday is going to drop them even more before they might rebound into the second hour or so after Black Friday content comes out. Even with all the crazy supply, there's going to be so much demand for cards like Neymar and Mbappe and, and this Marquinhos inform. Uh, and, you know, cards like that, you, you might see a couple of these cards bounce back a little bit right away Friday after the content drop. That is how it worked last year with cards like inform Renato Sanchez and inform Kyle Walker. If you remember the center back inform Kyle Walker card, uh, he was like 450,000 coins right before the content drop last year on Black Friday. The packs were opened. He shot up over 500,000 coins in about 25, 30 minutes and then maintained that price even though there was so much supply. So there's a lot of supply coming, but there's also a lot of demand. So again, that's going to be a very interesting scenario with these cards. I could see it going either way. But there's probably going to be a bigger drop off coming for these inform cards because they're going to get released back into packs. Looks like it potentially could be tomorrow on Thursday. So that's kind of my thoughts on the best of team of the week. Now, speaking of team of the week, today on Wednesday, we're going to get team of the week 10. Yes, even though we're going to have a best of team of the week, we will have a normal team of the week. And by the looks of this card's price on the market, 
Lionel Messi somehow, and this is 100% EA's doing here, 100% you can tell if this actually happens today, this is an EA kind of not ploy, but this is just a thing that EA is doing 100% to sell packs this weekend. Messi has not had a special card yet this year, but his once to watch card is up 300,000 coins in the past two days. To me, this looks like people have leaks that Messi is gonna be in the team of the week today. Messi will have a team of the week card today is what this looks like. I don't know if some people have false leaks or whatever. I haven't seen it posted around everywhere, but this once to watch card going up 300,000 coins in like a day is crazy to me, but it seems like this guy is gonna be in the team of the week. So watch out for that today. Now, apart from Messi, you would honestly think that if EA Sports is gonna drop a nice team of the week today, that would make sense, right? If they're trying to sell some packs, let's zoom in here and take a look at some of these cards that could be in. Big names are being thrown around, right? Trent Alexander-Arnold potentially getting another promo card. Conte is probably one of the names that would head up this team of the week as well. And if they throw Messi in here as well, that would be honestly pretty crazy, right? Jonathan David going from an 84 to an 86. If he gets another inform, uh, Benucci is in there. Handanovic is in there. I mean, if you throw Messi into this team of the week, Messi and Conte in, and Trent in a team of the week, that's that's kind of nutty, right? That is pretty nutty, especially for your top tier uh, players. And they're going to get packed so much with this Black Friday supply that's going to be coming in. So very, very interesting as it looks with today's team of the week. If Messi is not in for some reason, then this movement on the ones to watch card will be seen as just absolutely crazy. But as you can see, his card is absolutely exploded. I mean, he was already going up, but since Monday, I mean, he was 1.9 mil and literally he's gone up 300,000 coins from 1.9 to 2.2 high, almost 2.3 mil in the past two days. So that is why it seems that this Messi might be getting a card today on this game. So also on Wednesdays, What's what's normal, right? What do we normally see? We normally see a bit of sell-off after the 6 p.m. content, depending on what it is. So I would honestly watch some of your mid-tier and lower-tier gold cards because as we saw on Monday, after people got their foot champs rewards, we saw Hyunmin Sun go from 60,000 coins. We can even take a look at this. We saw Hyunmin Sun go from below 60K, 57,000 coins, all the way up to about 62. And I actually think it was uh, Sunday where he rose up a decent amount as well. Uh, but pe p players bought cards. Players bought cards on s Monday after they got their release of the Foot Champs rewards. I believe that Van Dyke went up. I mean, uh, Mohamed Salah was one card that I traded with. Mane went up, Hakimi, Mendy. So watch out for your lower tier kind of cards because I still think that people might be going out there and buying some cheap teams uh, ahead of Black Friday just so that they can play their qualification games uh, and maybe get ready for this weekend league tomorrow on Thursday. So I would watch out for that as we see a market drop off today on Wednesday. Just kind of watch out for that. Now, there's not a lot of people buying cards, so we're going to watch this closely uh, and hopefully talk about it in tomorrow's video as well, is watching this bit of a drop off before we get to the Rivals rewards. We might see a small kickback on the market then. And I also think that you could see more accelerated panic selling today on cards across this game if there is a loading screen about pre-Black Friday. That's what they did last year. Again, we talked about that in previous videos as well, preparing for this promo. They could drop a loading screen today, pre-Black Friday with a picture of a team of the week card. And if that is their plan, it looked like and seems like they would drop best of team of the week tomorrow on Thursday. So that I think would cause a little bit more market panic. And again, some of you guys are wanting to invest and buy into some of these out of packs cards that really have not, uh, they've risen up a little bit throughout this week. There would probably be an opportunity to snag some of these cards again at cheaper prices as we head, uh, okay, like with that panic and with the, with the loading screen, as we head into this part of the week, I think there'd be another opportunity to pick up on some of those cards that you would see. So that is something to kind of watch out for and keep your eye on SBC fodder. I know a lot of you guys are getting very, very interested in fodder. Fodder kind of just keeps, you know, it's it's chilling, but it's definitely down a little bit. Uh, 88 rated from 33, 34K down into the 30K range. I don't know if people started buying these. I thought they were going to go a little bit lower yesterday with UEFA uh, MM supply, which it looks like since there's technically still a base icon upgrade and a foot hero upgrade that are out in this game and live right now, you're probably not going to see insane drops uh, on, on these prices because there's still demand coming in from those SBCs. So it looks like 88s went from like 34K down to 28, and maybe they're up a slight bit 
on a couple of these cards because there is still demand out there. But watch for some more price drops on these cards uh, and a window to invest, to be completely honest, a window to in possibly invest on some of these uh, as they do drop in price. And as we see, uh, you know, a ton of SBCs are going to come out during the whole Black Friday promo. So that is some of the stuff that I would expect to see happening in this market and going on in this game. Now, a couple things I want to talk about very quickly. Road to the knockouts yesterday. Crazy, crazy market movements. Uh, first of all, GGMU, uh, Manchester United, ended up getting a W yesterday. Sancho scored a goal. I picked up a Sancho at 75K and sold it at 95,000 coins in the hype. I don't know where he is right now, but that was a crazy movement for a once to watch card that will not get upgraded, right? Because you don't get in the team of the week um, because of a performance in Champions League. And it looks like Sancho is back up. Now, I was hoping to see this man back at 80K and I kind of missed the buy time because I think he was sold off post game into the low 80s and now he's back up. But also what we saw were Road to the Knockout cards, a lot of movements yesterday. First one I want to talk about is Fred. So Fred was like 350,000 coins. United scored two goals, and this man went all the way up over 400,000 coins. He was like 410K at his peak. Now, I actually went out and I bought myself two Freds on the market because after the game, what happened was Fred... Uh, got, you know, they scored the goals, his price went up really high. And then people that had Fred were like, man, this price is high. I'm going to sell him and take my profit, right? It looks like Fred might get a double upgrade. If Man U win the last game, match day six, which is in two weeks, if they win that game, he will go to an 87 rated card and get that double upgrade and then no longer be a live item. But with this massive price rise, you always see a little bit of a drop post game. I actually bought three Freds under 360,000 coins. I bought them for 355 and 357, I believe, were my buy prices. Uh, yeah, 355 and 357. So he is actually up to about 390,000 coins. I'm considering taking the profit because that's a nice bit of profit on a quick flip, um, just like on a card like that, very easy. Um, and I'm happy with that. So that might be a scenario where I take the profit, even though I could see, honestly, this card going a bit higher with the big promo and everything that is going to be coming. I might just take the dough because, again, with the crazy content that could come out, people that are investing in these cards, even though they're probably going to keep holding on to them and these cards won't drop that much, I want to use that basically million coins that I have in Fred right now, three cards at 350K. I want to use that money other ways and make that and make more coins on the market. So I'm going to take my profit here. Basically, I don't even know what that is. That's, that's a nice, like, I think it's like 20K almost per card. I will take that, right? I will take that. That's a W. Now, another card that is not so fortunate is this road to the knockout stage de young this man is down bad 712,000 coins he was extremely high today before they even uh they didn't even score a goal against benfica they drew nil nil but this de young card was all the way up at 1.1 million coins at his absolute peak he dropped way way down of course as you see now uh, I think I might even have it on my transfer list for when he was really high. I don't. Unfortunately, I cleared it. But De Jong was selling at like 1.09. And of course, since they drew, Barcelona is not looking good in their group right now uh, for getting a an upgrade, getting out of the group. They play Bayern in two weeks. And if they do not win, they are in, they are in dire risk of potentially not getting out of the group stages. If Benfica beat Dinamo Kiev, they might go through over Bayern. Crazy, crazy times. But this this Frankie de Jong has dropped off so much from his lowest point. He is a very, very rare card. Also a very popular card. A lot of pros use this item. And he's dropped off a lot. But um, it's, it's not looking good. It's really not looking good. So I think this card might bounce back a little bit. Um, but it's going to be interesting. He was 700k flat. Right now he's about 715k on the market but that's the biggest and most interesting market movement and i think this is just foreshadowing more price drops that you're gonna see on uh cards like these road to the knockouts after after their games are done after the second week of december again we don't know when ea is going to actually go and upgrade these but after that second week of december these cards basically are not going to upgrade uh they're not moving forward as live items when the games continue for the knockout stages as as of right now ea has said these cards will not upgrade um past the the group stages so these cards a lot of them are going to drop off big time in two weeks time so just be wary of that again even as we're heading into this 
busy uh, Black Friday promo time frame. Just kind of keep your eyes out and open for that. Other than that, I'm just doing a bit of trading at the moment. I got a bunch of Di Marias for like 220, a couple at 224 selling those. I got some Barkaisen today at like 11K. I think I bought one at 13,000 coins just because he was up at 20. It was very overinvested, but we had a couple okay. I mean, I wouldn't say they're that insane, but people are in objective mode right now. So just because he links uh, to the, uh, what is it? He links to the this guy, Laurent, and this Laurent card looks kind of decent. So if anybody's out doing this, uh, that is a nice green link to the Barkaisen card. Uh, and he links to, of course, the rest of these guys that are in here, Low being a left wing back and the center back Davies. So if anybody's doing the EFL championship, he is, again, just an English right mid. I don't think that Barkaisen card is going to rise a bunch, but if it goes back to 15K, I'll be happy with it. And there's been a lot of market movements around these cards as well. I bought Diaz at 14K. He actually went up to 25 and uh, I sold him too early at 20, but that was a decent amount of profit, uh, a quick flip there. So honestly, though, today, I do think you're going to see the market dip off again as it is a Wednesday. Just keep an eye out for some of these icons, some of these rare cards that are on this market and on this game, because I do think you're going to continue to see fluctuations on them um, on this market and on this game. And they're going to be good to trade with, even though, uh, you know, a lot of people are scared right now of what is going on with the market and scared of Black Friday promo. You know, I still think there's going to be ways you can flip cards and make profits, but I do think today's going to be another big day of, of sell-off if we do get a loading screen and if we get more information about cards that are going to be in the best of uh, team of the week, which seems to be like it is going to be confirmed for either tomorrow or on Friday on this game. So that is the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.